In Korean culture, the main traditional food in every meal has been rice. Farmers plant rice seedlings in the spring to harvest them in the fall and store them so people would not need to worry about getting food in cold weather during the winter. People in the past thought that they did not eat a proper meal without eating rice every meal. There even was an old saying that people's strength come from eating rice. In order to be more nutritious, people often cook rice by adding other ingredients such as beans, peas and barley. There are always banchan, a Korean term for side menus, to eat with rice such as vegetables, fish, or meat. Kimchi is one of the most famous side dish that most Korean people like. There are many different types of kimchi made with various main ingredients such as Chinese cabbage, white radish, and spring onions. Kimchi also tastes slightly different by each household since people use different minor ingredients for flavors. Another dish that people often eat rice with is the soup called guk. People add various ingredients in the soup and use soy sauce, gochujang, or cooking wine for seasoning. These side menus make sure that people are more full and satisfied after each meal. In a meal called hanjangsik, a traditional full course meal with a lot of different kinds of savory side dishes, people can enjoy food starting with a cold appetizer to main dishes to desserts. After I moved to America at the age of 13, I saw a lot of restaurants with different cuisines. I was able to experience many foods that I have never tried before. I have tried Indian, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, and Thai food. One of my favorite food that I enjoy a lot is a Vietnamese noodle called pho. When I tried pho at first by my friend's recommendation, I did not like it at all, mainly because of the smell of cilantro and other spices that I could not even finish eating the whole thing. However, as I tried it more times, it tasted better and better as I got used to the smell too. Compared to Korean ramen, which is the famous noodle in Korea, pho tasted lighter and the noodle is made of rice, while Korean ramen is spicier with noodle made of flour. There are still many foods that could have flavors I have never tasted before. I want to try many different foods and just like my Korean food, I would like to learn more about them, including the origins, traditions, and how they're made. The foods also taught me something about people, such as their tastes and cultures. For example, there are some Korean who put hot sauce in pho because they are used to eating pungent spicy foods. However, Vietnamese do not put hot sauce in it and they just enjoy the original taste. Although I was born in Korea, now I'm living in the United States. After I had foods from both Korea and other countries, I felt like the foods became the symbol of my multicultural identity. Although I have tasted many dishes, Korean foods will always mean home to me, especially the ones that my mom cooks.